today was a good Wednesday practice, you know, uh, continuing to build upon, uh, you know, obviously each week we want to want to see growth, we want to see uh, improvement. Last couple of Wednesdays have had some some, uh, some inconsistencies and, and uh, just in different areas, but, uh, you know, I thought that, you know, I see our guys pushing to get better. Uh, we went a little bit more uh, today, you know, yesterday and today, just kind of getting back to our normal routine, uh, being on a normal work week. I thought, uh, you know, we try to get a, a lot of speed against each other, uh, you offense, offense and defense, and I think our guys are are building and growing upon that. Uh, you know, one of the things we want to make sure that we're keeping that, that uh, you know, game shape and game edge. Yes, we have great depth. I'm excited about the depth that we have, but, you know, making sure that guys, you know, if, if need be and you got to go play, you know, 65, 70 snaps, you're going to be ready to go do that. So we're really trying to push the tempo, trying to push the work, and I think our guys are uh, – embracing and, and, and uh, you know you're fighting for that work so uh, you know I thought it was a, I thought it was a good good work day good things on both sides of the ball I still think we obviously we're gonna have to clean up um, which we'll get that done here uh, tomorrow and Friday uh, as we're leading up to uh, to Saturday for a guy like Deuce Fan who's had some success in recent games what's the growth like seeing him in practice build good day on good day and yeah, I mean that's what you what you want to see he should you go through confidence through your experiences, and um, you know I, that that has to come through work. And you know, Deuce is an extremely hard worker. I mean, you know, when he comes out to practice, you know, he he has a purpose to get better, and I think that's what's allowed him to carry that over to the field. But then when you have that on the field success, that even brings you know uh, brings a heightened uh, uh, your sense to, to to the next step, and and that's what we're really trying to push with him. And I think. Uh, you know, I have a lot of confidence in where he's going to go as a player and uh, you know, what he's going to be able to accomplish, but I, you know, I love his work ethic. I feel like Darion Williams has been pretty consistently impactful whenever he's been out there. I guess, where have you seen him, just the strides he's made over the last few years? Yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, he's a really good player. I mean, he's developed well. You know, Darion's had, a, had a, an interesting journey. You know, he, he is his senior year, uh, had a knee injury, uh, you know, had to, he came in, uh, he was kind of, Recovering from that as, as he was here, but you know, still every no matter what he could do, he was taking every every step and you know trying to be able to apply it. And as he got stronger, uh, as he got gained the confidence in, in his body, you know, then you know you saw that you see the talent, you see the ability. Um, you know, he's had some you know, unfortunate things that just whether you know last year, you know the uh, the, the ankle was a just a, it was in this the Boston College game, I mean, almost 100 yards in the first half. Just got uh, you know an un- kind of freak thing that happened, and he missed uh, all the way to the bowl game. So, um, you know, we're glad we're glad to have him you know, back out and rolling. And uh, you know, I think he can be a really special player as he continues to grow. And um, you know, he's just you know, he's got a great skill set. One of the key goals for Pat Payton this offseason was becoming like an every down guy. How, how is that? I, I tell you, you know, he has taken and embraced the the technical part of it. Um, you know, he's, he's always had done a pretty good job of, of the playing hard. Um, but now playing with leverage, playing with power, taking the things that Coach Storms has, has helped develop in him in the weight room and being able to apply that on the field, um, uh, I think it's been really big because you see him play with much better power angles. Now there's still, it's the consistency of that is where the challenge uh, you know, lies with him, but he, I think he embraces that and he embraces the uh, the understanding that, man, if I, if I play with great technique, he is powerful, he is strong, and obviously he's got great length, but uh, yeah, that's something he's put a lot of uh, a lot of work into and I think it showed up in his play. How do you prepare for the win on Saturday? Does the game plan change, the regulation change, or you just go out there and you know, no, I mean, uh, you know, I asked them yesterday, and uh, you know, I thought um, there's really not a whole lot you can do to prepare for a win. Um, you know, there's things that you'll always, you always, we'll always, you know, have have plans for whatever the, the circumstance is. Um, you know, we'll work, we'll work with our our, our uh, on our kickoff with a guy holding the ball. You know, we'll make sure we get great reps of that of what that'll be, so the guys have confidence in case that's a situation. Uh, you know, Jordan, you know, our quarterbacks, they throw, they throw tight spirals, and I mean, yes, we'll have an effect. Yeah, but I mean, you see bigger effects whenever you know, guys, you know, maybe don't have as crisp of, of, uh, of uh, you know throwing motions or you know just the way the ball comes out of the hands. So, uh, you know, if it's extreme wins, I mean, uh, yes, it's gonna have an effect, but. Ultimately, you know, we try to do what we what we can. Um, we'd love to be able to put like a bunch of fans all up here and just you know be able to have that type of impact. But leaf blowers, leaf blowers. There you go. From the, that must be from the people. If the, uh, if the league you guys with possible maybe changing the day or the time, is there anything like you guys would? I don't know. 
right now. It's, I haven't heard anything towards that. But. Dennis is a guy that you know you inherited and then first year wasn't with the team fully and now he's a guy that Adam says he might be the, the best performing defensive lineman so far. Just what have you seen from his journey and just how impactful has he been for you guys? So I mean he's, he's, he's been consistent in his work, you know, he's he's definitely uh, grown he's so versatile you know last year playing some end you know but, but kind of going back inside you know towards the back part of the year it's also really good plays had a great bowl game he's carried that over i think it's the last three games he's had a quarterback sack uh count back to the count back to the bowl game um you know I, I just i love what i'm seeing from him and you know he's he is impactful he's got he's got great uh you know ability great length and uh you know he's taking that experience and and uh you know making everybody around him better so i'm proud of him all right guys life walk